Which all-electric sedan is better between the Polestar 2 and the Tesla Model 3? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to CleanerWatt. In our comparison of the Tesla Model 3 to the Polestar 2, we're going to be looking at seven key metrics. The cost of ownership, performance, cargo and towing capacities, range and efficiency, charging speed, warranty, and the driver's assistance safety features. We'll be examining the facts and the data to see which of these cars excel in each of these categories. But before we dive into those numbers and those comparisons, I want to talk a little bit about Polestar as a company and the Polestar 2. Polestar is an electric performance car brand jointly owned by Volvo Car Group and Geely Holding in China. Last year in 2019, the Polestar 2 was revealed, which is the company's first fully electric, higher volume premium car. This all-electric Polestar 2 will be available in the United States market in the next few months later on in this year, and it's going to be offered in an all-wheel drive model with a 78 kilowatt hour battery pack. Polestar does have several showrooms open in the San Francisco Bay Area, in Los Angeles, and also in New York City if you're curious and you want to go take a look at some of these vehicles. In 2021, Polestar plans to expand its footprint, opening spaces in other additional major metropolitan areas across the United States, and according to them, with their fully digital purchasing experience similar to Tesla, Polestar is available nationwide. The Polestar 2 is a very nicely designed hatchback sedan, and it has a very modern and clean interior. It has a beautiful 11-inch center display screen and a digital driver's display directly in front of the driver. These infotainment systems are based on Android software and they include features like the Google Assistant, Google Maps, and access to the Google Play App Store. So now that I've given a brief overview of the company Polestar and also the Polestar 2, let's dive into those seven key metrics and see which one of these vehicles come out on top. First of all, let's take a look at the purchase costs of these two vehicles. The Tesla Model 3 is available currently in either the standard range plus, long range all wheel drive, or performance variants. The launch edition of the Polestar 2 will be available in an all wheel drive version and will include the plus upgrade package. That vehicle has a base MSRP of right around $60,000, but it will also be eligible for the U.S. federal tax credit of up to $7,500. Polestar has estimated that the EPA range of this vehicle will be somewhere around 275 miles. For the remainder of the comparisons in this video, we're going to be looking at the Tesla Model 3 performance variant versus the long range all wheel drive Polestar 2 with the performance package. So if you go to the Polestar website right now, you can configure and price out a Polestar vehicle. As we mentioned, the base price starts right around $60,000 and there are a number of things that can be added that add to that cost. For this pricing comparison, we're going to stick with the standard black color that comes included with this $60,000 price. If you like other colors, you have to pay an additional $1,200. The launch edition of the Polestar 2 will come with their Pilot Assist Safety Assist features included. This includes all the important features like adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, collision assist, and automatic braking, and safety features like that, similar to what you find in the free basic autopilot package of Tesla. The launch edition of the Polestar 2 also includes the Plus package, which includes updates like the panoramic glass roof, LED headlights, heated seats, a premium audio system, and inductive wireless phone charging. For our example, since we are going to be comparing the Polestar 2 to the Performance Model 3, we need to add the Performance Package to the Polestar. This Performance Package costs around $5,000 and it adds a Performance Suspension System, Improved Performance Brakes, and also the 20-inch 4-spoke Polished Forge Alloy Wheels. 
So when you look at all these features added with a delivery fee, you get a final price of this vehicle right around $66,350. When it comes to configuring your Tesla Model 3, the performance variant starts at $54,990. This includes features like basic autopilot, your premium interior, which includes the features similar to what you find in the Polestar 2, and it also includes the pearl white multi-coat paint. Once you add the $1,200 destination and document fee, you come to a Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive performance price of $56,190 as compared to the Polestar 2 all-wheel drive plus with the performance package of $66,350. When you add to this purchase cost, sales tax, and also the finance cost, and you look at the potential monthly payment, it's clear to see that the Tesla Model 3 performance model is cheaper even if you subtract the $7,500 federal tax credit from the Polestar price. Now let's take a look at the performance differences between these vehicles. The Polestar 2 has a top speed of 130 miles per hour and can go 0 to 62 miles an hour in 4.7 seconds. The performance Tesla Model 3, however, can reach a top speed of 162 miles an hour and can go 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds. To compare apples to apples, you can roughly add about a tenth of a second to that 0 to 60 mile per hour time for the Tesla Model 3 to get a 0 to 100 kilometer time for the Tesla Model 3. Even the non-performance Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive variant potentially could go 0 to 60 faster than the Polestar 2. Now let's compare the technology and features that come included with each of these vehicles. The Polestar 2 is a very well-equipped vehicle with a lot of technology built in. As you can see from this chart, the launch edition of the Polestar 2 with that plus package will include the panoramic glass roof, just like the Model 3. It will include driver's assist features similar to the free basic autopilot included in the Model 3. It will have front and rear heated seats, wireless phone charging, GPS navigation and phone app connectivity a premium audio system, internet connectivity, and it will also have over-the-air software updates. The infotainment system found in the Polestar 2, as we mentioned previously, is an Android-based system. This infotainment system will include Google Maps. It will also include the Google Assistant, which allows you to control your climate settings and also do other settings within the car. It allows you to do hands-free messaging and also adjust your music and playlists. When it comes to the Tesla Model 3 infotainment system, it has many of those same features that the Polestar 2 will have and it adds a lot more. And some of those fun features are the video streaming services like YouTube and Netflix and also the video games that you can play. But also very useful and practical features as well, like Sentry Mode, which allows you to have video surveillance footage of your vehicle when you're not there. So if something happens to it, you have video footage of what happened to your car. Another really important feature found on the Tesla Model 3 that you cannot get in the Polestar 2 as of yet is that it has dash cam recording, allowing you to have multiple angles of dash cam video if you have an incident and you want to save that footage. The Tesla Model 3 infotainment system allows you to control many more of the car's functions and allows for a more customized experience than the Polestar 2. The familiar Android-based system found in the Polestar 2 is a lot more simple and includes less functionality. However, because it's a lot more simple, it has a much shorter learning curve to be able to use it effectively. Overall, for this category, we'll give tests of the win because they have a lot more technology built in. Next, let's see how the cargo space and towing capacity compare between these two vehicles. The rear trunk space of the Polestar 2 is slightly larger than the Model 3 by about 2 cubic feet, but the front trunk of the Model 3 is larger by about 1.5 cubic feet. Overall, when you look at the total cargo space available in these vehicles, both the rear and front trunk space added together, the Polestar 2 slightly edges out the Model 3 with 0.5 cubic feet more cargo space. The Polestar 2 is capable of towing up to 3,300 pounds with the optional tow bar. 
In Europe, the Model 3 is rated by Tesla to tow around 2,000 pounds, so the Polestar has a greater towing capacity, and thus it is a little bit more usable when it comes to cargo and towing. Next, let's look at the range and efficiency comparison between these vehicles. On this chart, you can see that I've listed the usable battery capacity in kilowatt hours, the EPA rated range, the watt hours per mile for consumption, and also the miles that you can drive per kilowatt hour of battery capacity. When you compare the Tesla Model 3 performance model to the Polestar 2, they both have the same amount of usable battery capacity at 72.5 kilowatt hours. The Performance Model 3 has a greater EPA rated range of 299 miles to the estimated Polestar EPA rated range of 275 miles. This means that the Tesla Model 3 Performance variant is more efficient and consumes less watt hours of electricity per mile as compared to the Polestar 2 and the Model 3 Performance variant can go 4.12 miles per kilowatt hour whereas the Polestar 2 can go 3.79 miles per kilowatt hour. Now let's look at another really important metric for electric cars, and that is how fast they can charge. As we mentioned previously, the usable battery capacity for the Model 3 Performance and the Polestar 2 are equal at 72.5 kilowatt hours. The Tesla Model 3 has a max charging rate of 250 kilowatts, whereas the Polestar 2 can charge up to 150 kilowatts. According to EVDatabase.com, the Tesla Model 3 performance variant can charge from 10% to 80% state of charge in 24 minutes, thus adding 209.3 miles in 24 minutes. The Polestar 2 should be able to charge from 10% to 80% in around 27 minutes, thus adding 192.5 miles in that 27 minutes. So the Tesla Model 3 performance variant does charge a little faster than the Polestar 2. But what really sets the Tesla Model 3 apart is of course Tesla's supercharging network. This charging network is of course only for Tesla's vehicles and it's a very affordable, very convenient, very reliable system that is available throughout the United States, Europe, China, and other parts of the world. Polestar has partnered with Plug Surfing to increase charging convenience in Europe, giving Polestar owners access to over 195,000 compatible EV charge points. But the truth is, Teslas can charge at any of these charge points as well, including networks like Electrify America or Ionity in Europe. The Polestar 2 is not able to charge, of course, at Tesla's superchargers. So when it comes to charging convenience on the go, on the road, the Tesla Model 3 not only charges faster, but it has access to more chargers. Now let's take a look and see which of these vehicles has a better warranty. The battery and powertrain of the Tesla Model 3 Long Range Battery Pack is warrantied for 8 years or 120,000 miles. The comprehensive warranty for the Model 3 is 4 years or 50,000 miles. The battery and powertrain for the Polestar 2 is guaranteed for 8 years or 100,000 miles. Unless you're a resident of California, then you get a 10-year, 150,000-mile warranty. The Polestar 2's comprehensive warranty is identical to Tesla's at 4 years, 50,000 miles. So unless you're a resident of California, the Tesla Model 3 warranty is slightly better than the Polestar 2 warranty. So for this category, Tesla wins unless you're a California resident. Lastly, let's look at the driver's assist, safety features, and autonomous features built into each of these vehicles. As I mentioned earlier, the launch version of the Polestar 2 includes the driver's assist package. This includes all the standard features that you would expect in a driver's assist system, and it is very similar to what you find in the basic autopilot system in Tesla's vehicles. However, although these systems look very similar on paper, when it comes to the actual use, Tesla always scores higher than other auto manufacturers. According to the Euro NCAP, Tesla received on the Model 3 a safety assist score of 94%. And there is no Euro NCAP data yet for the Polestar 2, but I did pull the most recent Volvo sedan that they have actually tested and it received a 76% safety assist score. So with this data in mind, I believe it's safe to assume that Tesla's basic autopilot is going to be superior to the safety assist features found in the Polestar 2. 
When it comes to autonomous features in the future, Waymo and Volvo have teamed up to build all electric robo taxis and possible level four Polestar EVs. Waymo's system, of course, uses LiDAR, whereas Tesla's system will not rely on LiDAR, but uses their camera, radar, and ultrasonic sensors. The current Polestar 2 vehicles will not have all the hardware necessary for them to be full self-driving, but according to Tesla, all their vehicles currently coming off the production lines have all the hardware necessary for full self-driving. The full functionality of this full self-driving will be available with a future over-the-air software update. So here's the final tally of how these vehicles stack up when it comes to these key seven metrics. The Tesla Model 3 performance variant has a lower cost of ownership. It has better performance, but the Polestar 2 does have slightly better cargo space and it has a better towing capacity. When it comes to range and efficiency, the Tesla Model 3 wins. When it comes to charging speed and the charging network, of course, Tesla wins. Unless you're a California resident, the warranty for the Tesla Model 3 is better, so we gave it the win there. And when it comes to the driver's assist safety features and autonomous features in hardware, Tesla wins there as well. So in summary, even when you include the $7,500 federal tax credit and you take that off the price of the Polestar 2, it's still going to be more expensive than the Tesla Model 3 performance. The Polestar 2 is a very nice vehicle, but it will have less features, less performance, and does not have all the hardware necessary for full self-driving. Tesla's one big weakness that could hold them back is their current struggles with fit and finish. The Polestar 2 will likely not suffer from these issues and the online reviews that I've seen so far point to a very high quality build. The Polestar 2 is a very nice all electric vehicle and I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy it, but when it comes to the best value for your money, it appears like the Model 3 performance variant is going to be the better pick. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click that bell icon, YouTube will notify you when I publish new videos. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please consider clicking that like button and consider sharing this out on social media. I also wanted to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters, which support me every month and help me make this content and bring it to you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, you can click the link in the description below. Thank you so much.